tonight we're focusing on Ablikuma Central constituency in the run-up to the 2016 elections later this year. And uh, of course, as you saw from that uh, video, the two candidates, the main candidates, um, Alhaji Alidu Seydu Haruna is... Is, there's no Seydou. Yes. Alhaji Alidu Haruna is running on the ticket of the NDC. And also Ebenezer Gilbert Nina Nate is running on the ticket of the NPP. You're both welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you. Do you know each other very well? Yes. Very well. Yeah? Cousins, brothers, friends? Yes. Friends. Friends. For yes. how many years? Oh, for a very long time. Yeah? More than a decade? Mm, well, I would say four years. Four years. Yes. So how does it feel running against each other? <laughs> well, it's a context it's of a ideas, context. Yeah. and um, certainly when you have a superior argument and you can, mm. your argument can actually turn the tide in favor of you, certainly the people of Africa okay. Central will consider. Have you found yourselves at any point in time engaging in some form of politics that in involved insults? The two of us? Yes. Oh, no. no. We, have been, we have been going on radio and on TV. Together? Together. Even right. this morning we had our dome FM. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That's nice. Such a relief. We are civilized people. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> anyway, so I'll go straight to the issue of roads because we saw the roads in your yeah. constituency quite bad. I mean, it's just not a problem with just your constituency, but if you go to a lot of constituencies, you find a number of bad roads. But some constituents will tell you that the MPs, their MPs have lobbied for roads to be constructed for them. We can't say same for your constituency, especially when uh, it is actually represented by, by the, the NDC, NDC. Yeah. in Parliament, and we've seen very little development so far. What is the problem? Well, I thank you very much, and let me say good evening to our Cherry's viewers, and good evening to the respected people of Abilkuma Central. I think that I'm excited by this opportunity given to me by your station, and I'm grateful to your crew. And they did very well yesterday, in spite of the rain, uh -huh, we right. were actually in the rain <laughs> waiting to get us uh, the opportunity to be able to air yeah. our views. I thank all of you for that effort. Having said that, I think that uh, it's true that we have some of the roads that are not in good shape. And undoubtedly, we, uh, the sitting member of parliament has done so well in terms of getting some of the infrastructure development for the constituency. I can't confirm that just recently we have had the ad fact overlay done on some of the uh, because of uh, the elections uh, not <laughs> because of election it was actually a program because the government of the republic of ghana had the sponsorship of probably uh, uh, some support from the brazilian government right. and it was to actually look at uh, uh, rules within certain communities in order to be able to increase their lifespans i can mention the jokobiri uh, uh, route the Adama Road, I can mention Hamatan Road, Shabu Baku Road, uh, Jetei Road. I'm sure uh, if you ask him whether he knows even where the location of Jetei Road, I don't think he can even be able to Why tell. Why not? It's within Mataiku area, mm -hmm. and probably if he knows, he can uh, mention it to the people. If he's unable to do it, I will tell him where Jetei Road is. The Kwashuma Road is actually a road that the, the Roman Catholic Church where the Roman Catholic is located. They've raised a concern in respect of the terrible nature of the road. And I managed to get the urban roads director there. And as we speak now, the surface has been scrapped and then effort has been made to be able to put bitumen on it. And uh, there is another road behind the Mambrook Park, of which I personally went to the minister that is in charge of roads, and he directed me to the director of urban roads, that's Abbas. And I spoke to him as we speak now they have actually awarded the contract. That is Odete Obo 2, 5, and 6. These are rules that are in terrible state. And in fact, when I was contesting to become the uh, candidate, that was when the residents there comforted me and indicated that they would want those rules to be fixed. Okay. And if I'm able to do that, they would then be magnanimous enough to look at my direction. So I promised them that I would do so. But it's, 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 I mean, if they tell you that if you're able to fix those rules, it's not your responsibility to fix those rules. Well, I think, that, I think the leadership is about... Uh, leading and trying to okay. actually create But you've managed to lobby. Would I've you say that it's lobby. been easy for you because your, your party is in power? Because he, I, I'm not too sure he would have achieved the same results if he had walked to the ministry or, you know, consulted all these people that you mentioned. I 
I'm a very brave person. Right. Having the capacity to be able to enter where people less expect me to enter. Okay, so fantastic. whether regardless of whether it's the NDC that is in power or the MPP that is in power, I will be able to go and do that. Okay. And if he has that capacity, he should just demonstrate okay. that here too. Eben, roads in your constituency. Do you know these roads he mentioned that are under construction? No, no, thank you very much. And let me say good evening to our chair viewers. Um, and good evening to our constituents, my central constituency. Um, before I come to the roads, let me take this opportunity to thank my constituents, executives, um, for a good work done during the just ended limited registration exercise. Uh, let me thank the police and then opinion leaders, the electoral commission, for their support and cooperation during those 10 days of the limited registration. And let me also thank party faithfuls and individuals who today also joined me and Anado for a visit in my constituency today. I say thank you to all of them. Anaba, let me ask you, if I come to your house and I pay you a visit and you are preparing palm nut soup, and I ask you, Anaba, what are you doing? What will be your answer? Um. Um, you put me on the spot. I don't know what I was saying. If say I to come you. to your house and I'm preparing yeah. palm nuts, yes, and, and you ask me yes, what I'm doing, yes, I, I guess it's obvious. Right. If I come the next day, uh -huh. and you have put the same soup on fire. Okay. Would the answer be the same? I, I, I don't know the point you're trying to make here. Yes. <laughs> if we have an existing road, uh -huh. and you come and put asphalt on it, uh -huh. does it make a new road? Uh, it makes it comfortable to drive on. It makes it only comfortable, but it's not it makes it a new road that's being constructed. Well, you cannot construct a new road because the roads are already there. Yes. So if it is Please. bad, you just work on it. No? Yes. Okay. There are existing roads. Mm -hmm. there are exist I mean, and I think your cameras came to the constituency. They mm -hmm. saw what happened in the constituency. There are some areas that you find it very difficult, very, very difficult mm. to get access people's houses okay. so if you neglect all those things and you tell me you are doing asphalt then I ask myself what is that what, what happens to the rest of the people I will say that a current member of parliament have done something but it looks from where I am certain I believe that he could have done better okay. being the chairman for rules and transport committee in parliament I believe strongly and his party being in government and also looking at loans and taxes that this government have benefited. I believe strongly that I look my central constituency in terms of infrastructure when it comes to road. We should be, I mean, far from what we have now. Okay. We have seven electoral areas in Abluk my central constituency. I can confidently tell you that we have about three or four electoral areas that in terms of infrastructure development is very, very bad. And if my brother knows the Why have well, these three been in that state and the other four looking comparatively better? Let me start with the ones that are better. Right. In 2005, the MPP secured a loan of $1.2 million okay to construct a road from the Central Gospel Church, we call a place called, a place called Apides, through the Zongu Janj. This is a storm drain. These are not normal drain. These are storm drain. Okay. Then through um, the Obogo Road to Zongu Janj. Then it ends at um, Old Faith Church. This loan, the contractor was Watatek. And they are supposed to do these storm drains, then to Abosokan electoral area, then part of Latebi Okoshi electoral area. When the project started in 2005, and then in 2008, we lost power. In 2012, I had opportunity to meet my brother and friend, the Chai, on the same discussion. And I, asked, I put to him what has happened to the $1.2 million which was secured during the Kufour administration to construct these roads and create access to people to their various homes. And the answer is that, oh, 
we have diverted it to a different roles network in Abosoka. But when you go to Abosoka, the original drawing in Abosoka, because of the heavy tracks they bring there, mm -hmm. their roles are not supposed to be the ones that we have in the, uh, the normal um, uh, areas. Mm -hmm. But go to Abosoka right now and ju just go and look at their roles that were co constructed about 2012, 2000. And 11 and 12 thereabouts, and go and see how the road looks like now, and compare to the original drawing that was supposed to be done at that area. Okay. Because it's not a normal. So basically, what you're saying is that the constituency has not seen any meaningful development. From where I am from sitting. From where you're sitting. And my my, since, my rounds. Since since the NPP was kicked out of power. Yes. Okay. From so so from 2008 till date. From 2008 to date, no meaningful development. The fact of the matter as is, as far as roads are concerned, as far as roads are concerned, as far as roads are concerned, there has not been any much. But I drove through your constituency yesterday. Where? <laughs> well, on my way to Latebi Okoshi. Yeah. That, 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 those were some good roads. From where? Where did you Where did you start? Well, I don't know that area very let well, me, but me, I don't remember. That's, don't that's what I'm telling you. From Zongo Junction, where you pass uh -huh. through uh, the Zongo You constructed that road. Exactly. Okay. It was done when the NPP administration. Okay. okay. The okay. one that you are seeing at Tankasla area was just recently, as you said, it's because of the election. We have been told. No, no, I didn't say. I was asking. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> My okay. colleague doesn't even know what he's talking about. That road he mentioned from Happy Days to where he mentioned was constructed by PMC. And it was done under Tete Chai. It was the PMC. Current, PMC. PMC yeah, as a construct. That means you don't live now, in the constituency. Let me say this. I asked <laughs> Nanaba. What's I asked PMC? Him. PMC. Uh, it's a progressive. Uh, more than from something, something. Okay. From Zongo Janshin. It's a contractor. From Happy Days to Zongo Janshin. Uh, so me, you, you, he's saying listen. that the NPP constructed listen, that road. Listen, You're saying that listen, it was constructed I'm coming, under... I'm coming. From 2001 to 2008, the NPP was in power. Mm -hmm. He's a candidate representing the NPP. Mm -hmm. He should be able to tell me that within the five electoral areas, we used to have five, ele uh, 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 five electoral areas. When the demarcation was done, they increased it to seven electoral areas. He should be able to tell me that under New Patriotic Party, they've been able to do this specific rule, these specific rules. Now, you just mentioned that you drove on a very good rules. That was around the Tankers Light area. That was my, 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 my electoral area where I lived. Let me tell you, in 1996, when we're contesting, Gerolis actually came to the constituency at a rally in that, uh, on that park. He drove on that road very bad. And he made a declaration on the platform that no, we cannot live in Accra and have such kind of rules. And therefore, he ordered that immediately after the election, those rules should be fixed. In fact, it was a local contractor that constructed those rules within the tanker slide. It used to be very difficult to drive in Normally, when you pick a taxi, the taxi will drop you at Zongo Junction, and you have to walk, climb to uh, Tankas Light. He doesn't even know about that. <laughs> now, he, I ask you to ask him whether he knows Jetai Hood, whether he knows I'm that. sure he does. He, do, he doesn't know. Let yeah, him I mean, describe uh, course, where the, the location well, of the Well, no need to describe. No, he should describe. I, I, he doesn't I bet know. he knows it. Now, he that road. He doesn't even live in the consequence. That road. He himself doesn't live in the consequence. That road was done. He doesn't live there. He doesn't necessarily need to live there, it does is, he? It is a complete a, He doesn't live it. He doesn't live there at all. He doesn't live in the constituency. He doesn't know what is going on. So he he, you probably don't know the constituency. Yes. <laughs> I mentioned that Jetai Road uh -huh. was done under this administration. Uh -huh. And in fact, it's located just, uh, it's, it's joint Jonkobri. Jonkobri Road is, what you see Regent University. Yes. Regent University in between. That road in between the National Health Insurance Office straight to uh, 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 the junction when you are going to Radio Gold. That is John Kobiri. But by that John Kobiri joins... That John and Kobiri, it was by that John NDC. Kobiri join, joins Jotai. Ah, yeah. And Jotai <laughs> is actually a road connected to the outer ring group. And this road was done by, by this administration? I said Jotai was constructed, at, uh, put Butopin on it by this government. When? By this government. When? Do you know the location when? of that road? When? When did the... I said, do you know no, the location of that when road? when did the government did it? Do you know when? the location of that road? He doesn't even know no, the road no, I'm when? talking about. I'm asking you when. No. First He's of asking all, you a question. when? No, listen. Mm -hmm. He must be able to tell me that Why he did? knows the location of the road and he knows the road I'm talking about. Do you First, know it? Ask him. I know the road. Which road? Tell me. Tell, tell From Zongo Junction to Wings. It's, it's a lie. I look at you. You the just road mentioned it. Behind Wings. That is the Jetai road. Then, and, behind and, and, Wings. And you say that that, that, that road, road, that outer road. And, he doesn't and you, know. And you said that road was put by the NDC. It was the NDC government. It's a lie. 
and you okay. don't tell lies. Let okay. me tell you, that was the loan I'm talking about. Look at in 2005, okay. the road BP, behind the, the MPP, okay. that outer road, the MPP, and joining the outer the, ring road, with a member of parliament for Abluqba Central at that time, Victor Okulu uh, uh, to secure uh, that loan uh, for that project. Uh, 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 go to Abluqba Central okay. and let's go and ask who right. did that road. I was so okay. kind. I was so kind. You don't know what they are talking about. On June 4th, you recall when Professor Mills was actually embarking on house to house. Wins. June 4th, <laughs> 2007. Professor Mills was expected to go and participate in the celebration of the June 4th, and he never did. And he decided to embark on house to house around the Abusokai area. That day, it rains that day, and then uh, he realized that there's the situation that the businessmen within Abusokai were confronted with are very bad. And he declares that should God Almighty make it possible for him to emerge as a winner, he will construct those okay. roads. Okay. Now go to those roads. Go to Abu They've been constructed. Most of the roads within Abu were constructed. Have been constructed. constructed. Do you agree? Is it true? Under, under Is it true? And it was under Professor Mills. Eben, have so, they been constructed? And, and let, me, let me say this. The World War II road, which you showed, mm. the road that joins uh, 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 Latibia of Kwashin to Shukula, that road, you see uh, a company called you see a construction company. Yesterday I was with his, with the director of the company. Yeah. You are, you are Abba always with as, as, <laughs> as, as, as everybody company. yesterday. Yes, okay. because I want to prove to you that I have what it takes to be able to lead. Uh, okay. And you, said you are the same person who said you are the one consulting the uh, Manbrook uh, dreams. I said I went and lobby. You are the same person. Well, he can and, 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 and your own counterpart. And your own counterpart counter the on the radio station. Which counterpart counter me? Who? I went and lobbied for it. Okay. The urban road director, you can go and speak with him, right Mr. Aduma. Okay, I then. came to the consultation so, okay. so, with him. So, so it's not your. So, you so, so it's not the CTMP who is doing that. I said, okay. you no, I want you to put on record. I am telling no, you, put it on that, record. That, uh, uh, put it on record. Second, All right. Fifth, uh, then six. Okay. I personally went and, and worked for it. All right. I'm saying, put it on record. That I the phoenix that is being it. done currently at Mambuk, you're the one doing it. I'm telling you, just put it well, on the record. The city, member, the city member of parliament's no, 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 no. company I'm, is I'm the saying... one doing it. Okay. The company of the city member of parliament is the one constructing it. Right. But I love it for those construction. <laughs> okay. So what are you talking about? <laughs> All right. Let, let me you've come been, to you. You should now. be able to tell me that Evan. under MPP from 2001 and 2008, you've been able to do this well, or he, do that. Well, he mentioned... He he mentioned what he, the NPP only, did so with the loan within that was the eight years, He only mentioned from happy days to mass junction. Well, I That's don't know what, what that is, but I want to believe it's quite a stretch. <laughs> it's not quite a stretch. It isn't. Okay. Uh, Take Evan, the, the road network within Mimete, within uh, okay. Latabia Kwashi, Alaji, and then within Gwachi. Certainly, we cannot we'll, compare we'll, with what they have done. We'll end it for there. But let's talk about sanitation <laughs> because it's directly connected to uh, the roads. We mentioned dr uh, drains, and yesterday, uh, just a slight downpour. And as I was driving out of Latapiokoshi, I realized that a lot of the roads were, you know, flooded. Uh, I'll start with you on sanitation. Yes, on sanitation, um, we have a very big issue when it comes to sanitation in in, in the constituency. Um, one of the major challenges is that, you see, they used to have this zone lion people coming in day in and day out, mm -hmm. I think twice a week. So sometime um, in 2013, when they uh, give part of the uh, uh, demarcation to a different company to look at it. And I think that's one thing that has created um, a lot of problem. So most of the people, if they have their refuse in the houses and it rains, they take advantage of it and then mm. they just put it in the um, in the rain. And that's what Quite creates typical. problems mm. in, 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 the, in the in the in the area. In respect of um, um, sanitation, also we look at um, areas where people day in and day out just I mean put refuse in the gutters and all those things because of a dumping site mm. and. Because some of them too don't have um, what we call the the pains that they will be putting their refuse in, some of them take advantage of those things, and that's what creates a lot of problems for us. Um, one thing that I know that the assemblymen are doing mm -hmm. is they are taking advantage of these um, sanitation day, making sure that um, they take advantage of it and then clean. The environment. This is quite a disgusting site. Yes, exactly. This is this is this is um, around um, get between Atebio Koshi and then uh, uh, Sukura. Okay. Yeah, and this 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 is a very big train, and this is supposed to lead to uh, Banana Inn. It's a very big um, um, uh, train 
that's supposed to be considered to uh, banana in to just I mean, accommodate the people in those areas as well. So in terms of sanitation, we really have a problem. Um, it is now that you can see some of these young guys with these, these trucks okay. going about um, that collecting people's refuse and all those things. Okay. Alaji. Well, I think that it's a very disturbing uh, uh, scene, and I do not think that we should live in such kind of uh, condition. <coughs> and I think that one area that we can all be able to look at is issues of sanitation because if you have a very bad and filthy environment you are likely to be affected with uh, some diseases that could have been avoided and when you look at it critically there is some attitudinal issues here that we need to look at it and my attitude is simply this to be able to address this you need to engage the people in engaging the people, what it means is that you need to actually be able to uh, sensitize them to understand that there is a need to keep a very clean environment. Mm -hmm. Today, Muslims worship by cleaning themselves five times a day before entering into the mosque. The Christian will go to church by making sure that he cleans himself before going to church. Now, you cannot be cleaning yourself, knowing very well that you need that kind of neatness to be able to worship God, and yet the immediate environment is actually very bad. So what it means is that we should be able to translate that neatness to our immediate environment so that we can keep it clean, because cleanliness, they say, is next to godliness. So my attitude is that should God make it uh, 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 possible for me to emerge as a candidate, I, I intend engaging uh, opinion leaders within the various mm. uh, communities where we would sit and sensitize the people. And I keep <coughs> saying that sometimes it's not actually uh, uh, critical to use the whip in order to correct people. Sometimes you engage them, sensitize them, and create, let them have the mental picture of the danger ahead should they continue to engage in doing that, that rubbish anyhow. So when you do that, then you have already been able to let them see the danger in it. Certainly, they will advise themselves, even in your absence. Now, when they fail to do that, that is where you then you collaborate with the submet, sub, uh, the submetro, mm -hmm. and then try to force or enforce the bylaws that existed. And one thing that I have realized that has not been done within the constituency is that you hardly been able to see maybe a dustbin closer. Probably you eat and then you want to throw in the waste. <coughs> It becomes difficult. Sometimes when you, you, I drive and you see in my car, you see so many rubbish because I don't want the situation where I would want to uh, leave and I will create a bad uh, what's the example. So I keep those rubbish in there. When I drive, getting closer to a place where there's been... Uh, and of course, we expect so that everybody will do that. The point is that it's a collective responsibility and there is a need for us to conscientize the people. And certainly, nobody will want to live in such kind of a situation. But sometimes circumstances, when the options are not available, they their temptation is that they would want to go in there. Now, he talks about the dustbins. I do know, as a matter of policy, that dustbins have been distributed to various homes, particularly by in the Latibia questions, by the uh, uh, waste management uh, companies, <laughs> particularly Zoom Lions. In, okay. in Tantas Line, the, the pack that your uh, camera captured, mm -hmm. you see two dustbins behind that uh, uh, wooden structure. It belongs to somebody in that area. And I'm saying that, that those uh, dustbins were given. But the difficulty is that disposal becomes a problem. They used to have the vehicle come in to actually get the, uh, uh, the rubbish. Uh, uh, they, they, they come to take the rubbish away. But sometimes it delays. And the explanation is that they normally don't get paid. So it becomes difficult. So they are, they are, they are, there is some kind of difficulties in terms of being able to operate as effectively as they are expected. Now, leadership is about comforting the challenge that exists within your community. Should God make it possible for me to get this note, I would actually take the bull by the horns and ensure that with the common fund, we'll look at it and ensure that we use part of the common fund and okay. address the issues of sanitation okay. within the constitution. Eben, and what would be your promise if you are able to win this election? Remember, on the issue of sanitation, mm -hmm. um, what I have three main things I have made in mind mm -hmm. to do for the people of public mass center god willing and i know god will be on my side to win this election i guess he's on your side both of you <laughs> you, you you said it is on my side <laughs> i said i said it, both of you i mean 
One of the, the three main <laughs> issues. Certainly, God knows who has the capacity All to right. be able to deliver. Okay. So <laughs> he would certainly be on the side God, of the person God with the capacity. Of the heart of the people in the constituency. <laughs> well, yeah, would both of you be standing if you didn't have the interest of the constituents at heart? Well, no. sometimes the gravity of the commitment All right. is what matters. Okay. <laughs> Evan, go on. I have decided that I will have a collaboration with assemblymen and the unit committee members, as well as the South Metro, for a regular clean up exercise in the constituency. At least, if we are doing it twice a month, will help in terms of sanitation. Also, provide dustbins for the households. Mm. But he the says some dustbins have been provided. Or you just that, continue? That is, that is what I don't know. You haven't so received he any? <laughs> he doesn't I know. <laughs> Do you live See, there? That, I, I live in the constituency. So how can replay, you have received Replay your, this thing. You see the, the dustbins behind that So how come structure? you haven't received a dustbin <laughs> in your area? Maybe it's not for all areas, is it? No, you the see, the, 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 AMA, the AMA has 13 constituencies 13 constituency under it. Okay, so, so all those have been covered. Exactly, under AMA. Okay, but Eben hasn't received a receptacle. And then a receptacle. Receptacle is one of the constituencies. He hasn't received a receptacle as yet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the company that he is talking about came to dispute the dust bins. He says Zoom Lion. Oh, just yeah. look, look behind Zoom that, Zoom that structure. That would be structure that I talked to you okay, about yesterday. Let him make his point. <laughs> we have seven electoral areas. Mm -hmm. How many dust bins did uh, the Zoom Lion provide to the people of Abilukuma Central? How many dust bins did the Zoom Lion provide to the people of Abilukuma Central? How many did they provide? He is saying. He is saying. But have saying, they provided any at all? I don't know. They have done that. You haven't seen any I receptacle. I don't know what I am using <laughs> in my area. <laughs> and the people in Abilukuma Central, especially where I reside, okay. are Jumbo electoral area. But I can question. tell you, please, when I talk, I just give you the chance to just talk. I can make your point, you. Evan. Sorry. Yes. yes. Where I live in Ajembu electoral area, I can tell you with authority, you can come there and check for yourself again. That there are many houses there. Without dustbins. That they, without dustbins. Okay. And the few ones that they have, they own it themselves. Well, which is good. Yeah, exactly. Which is good. So it is not I provided mean, by the Zoom to, Lion. If they're able to buy it for themselves. It is not provided by the Zoom Lion. So if you say that Zoom Lion have come to distribute dustbins to the people of Abilukma Central constituency, and that means... It's only tankers like people who have it. Please, I when you are... I just, uh -huh. you, see, you, just, you see the dustbin? You see the two packs right there? It belongs to people within the area. Okay. This one. Okay. These ones were given... Nama, just, watch, just, just, just watch this picture clear. This one. Is this somebody putting on some green shirt? Have green, you seen the person? Yeah, that's a green shirt. Yeah, that's where they sit. So definitely that's you will get it. That's, that's where I that, that, that is his base. Ah, so right. definitely they will provide so it for you. Saying, <laughs> exactly. But why, why would... But I don't think it was Zoom, given to the rest of the exactly. Zoom line so that is, that he's the one it. sitting there. In the case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, didn't you see her he, he yes. yesterday? No, but didn't you see him yesterday? I did. He was in the green NDC t-shirt. He's the one sitting there right I, now. I did. But, so but I mean... Two but but to are you done? Are you done? <laughs> are you he said I don't live there. And now he said... I said that's your base. That's where you always sit. Okay, but Zoom line will not be... You know, selective, <laughs> deliberately. You know, say that. Okay, because that is why I'm telling you base. that we have seven electoral areas. Okay. So far as I am concerned, my investigation with assembly men in those electoral area, I can tell you mm -hmm. that Zoom Lion have not provided any dustbins to those. People. Okay, fair enough, fair point. So, um, I mean, so the two of you have just told me one important thing: that you have sanitation at heart. If either of you wins this election, it will be. Uh, one of your main Certainly. issues you would want to tackle. Yes. That's fantastic because we, we know all the problems that come with uh, you know, poor sanitation and we don't want a cholera uh, outbreak. But I will not say that if I get the mandate which I know I'll be, I, don't, I will not say that it will be the things of the past. What would it be? <laughs> Definitely, I know that when it comes to my central constituency, in respect of registered voters, assets, 2015 is 127,138 registered voters. It's 316. Please. 127,000. I'll give you official documents for you to come. That, that is that. what do you have. That is official. From the the official one that I have from the Data Commission <laughs> is here. You can, I can give it to you for you to question. How is it possible that you both have two documents from the EC? 
No, I'll show. I'll, I'll, I'm saying that I'll, I'll give you a copy from you. Yeezy. Compare with this what from, I have with this, this is from Yeezy. Okay, that shouldn't be. So, so, so <laughs> an issue I don't at think all. that. I don't think that <laughs> within a trigger of an eye, we can able to solve all the sanitation problem in the constituency. Okay, so but four I years will not that, be enough. Uh, not, not, not. I believe by my end, by four years term, mm -hmm. I believe there's going to be a total improvement in respect of uh, sanitation. Well done to you. Schools. Do you have enough schools in, in your constituency? Well, I think that, yes, uh, we used to have the shift system being actually uh, implemented within the constituency. Mm -hmm. And when I was actually uh, going to school, it was morning and afternoon. That is yeah. around the salvation compound. But uh, thank God, under the able leadership of John Johawani Mama and uh, <laughs> the chief executive of uh, the AMA, uh, We've been able to abolish the shift system and we have put up three strong and modern structure at Salvation it? Army. And no, they will, they will, they will, this is uh, actually St. P. Uh, this is Ebenezer. That's the primary school I attended. And this is the structure, the first one. And it was commissioned by uh, Professor Mus, the late Professor Mus. Right. That was the, fe the, the last uh, uh, official. A commissioning of uh, a structure and infrastructure built that before he passed on. Okay. Uh -huh. So he, he actually commissioned one, and the rest of the two were constructed under John Germani Mama. Okay. So basically, it was actually be able to is accommodate. There, is there a government funded project? Of course, it will be government funded. What is, what is that question? Well, he says it was constructed by President. Is, that, is, it is, is it not the same person who what paid? Is it a government <laughs> funded project? He, he leads the government. <laughs> no, I'm asking what is a government funded project. Was it a government funded project? That's what, what? I want to know. What, 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 what is the answer of the question? The, the question is, he wants to know. Was it government funded? Was it... The, the AMA was, out of his own effort, secured a loan from outside. Okay. which he decided to embark on this, uh, okay. this thing. Okay. And then Your we, the people answered. of Abilkuma Centra, benefited. Three Your question has been modern answered. structures there. Fantastic. And We're happy what is he talking about? So there's now, been some relief for the school ex children. Exactly. But what we do not have, mm -hmm. certainly, is uh, we have only one secondary school within the, uh, uh, second, uh, the Abilkuma Centra. Okay. Are you not benefiting Kateko. from the day yeah, the, school? No, the day school. The difficulty is that if we were to have a land, I can make a promise. I can make a promise right now <laughs> that I would. Is the issues of land that there are difficulties? Issues of land. If we do have, certainly the uh, the uh, schools would have come. The excellent school would have come there. But we have only Kateko. But I manage Kateko is a Kaneshi technical. Kateko technical, okay. and okay. that is the only school. And they do not have even enough land to be able to expand that school right. because it's actually within the Ajembu electoral, the Mataiko electoral area. Okay. So there are some kind of restriction. The immediate school around us is Ebenezer Secondary School, and then uh, this school around the Kolegono. Uh, uh, Collegian area, the guest Saint Mary's. Saint Mary's. Mm -hmm. that, that is the closest in terms of secondary schools. But we have private schools. Is Accra there. Academy not close? Accra yeah. Academy is also close. Yeah. But, but Accra Academy is Wesley also Grammar close. Wesley Grammar is close. Wesley Grammar right. 2 is right. close. So these are the schools around the okay. constituency. But I think that we can be able to work if we have a land and the uh, day school, we can be able to get it in that constituency. Okay. Eben, on schools? Yes. Um, oh, let me say all the seven electoral areas, with the exception of um, Botry and Mambrook electoral area, that they have um, private schools. Mm -hmm. We don't have government schools there okay. uh, in respect of the primary, the basic uh, schools. Okay. Uh, but when it comes to Ajembu, we have Mata, New Abosokai primary and GSS there. When you go to Abosokain, you have the Abosokain Methodist Primary and then the Abosokain AO2 GSS. When you go to Mimete, we have the Presby School there and then you have uh, the Ojo School as well. When you get to um, Latebi Okoshin, we have the Presby uh, 12 and 13 and then we have the uh, Salvation and then the, the one that he's talking about that was constructed by President John Mahama. But I know that USAD. In 2012, gave this country through the AMA 
a two point seven billion dollars okay. <laughs> for infrastructure development in respect of school. Mm. So it is, it is it is not directly a government funding um, hard work projects. Mm. I think if 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 an organization if an organization okay. um, supports government in respect of infrastructure development, mm. it needs to be recommended. So, but if you say that, oh, this project was constructed by the government, the government make an effort through the AMA for the negotiation, but the money was given by USID. Okay, but, but the, would the money, would you have received that money if governments have not started any process? <laughs> the government you should also remember that the money is coming in because some initiation was That's done. That's what I'm saying, that you need to give recommendations Commendation, you mean? Yes. Okay. To the person who gives the money out. Okay. When it comes to Abosoka AO2 GSS, mm -hmm. in 2012, former President J.E. Kufo. Mm -hmm. Kufo was not in power in 2012. Please, let me, let me learn. Let him make his point. <laughs> <laughs> Secured a loan in 2012, 2012 to renovate a school. On his, own, on his when own, when he had left office. When he has left office in 2012. Okay. In 2012. He doesn't understand that issue. He doesn't. <laughs> I, I, I bet he does. At Abusoka, I, I knew Abusoka. I, I bet he does. No, he doesn't. He's misrepresenting the issue. <laughs> you see, when he's talking, I always give him the Please chance to talk. make your point. <laughs> Abusoka, AO2 JSS. You can call the city member of parliament if you have his number. He was at the inauguration of that school. Okay. It's a, a three classroom, a, a three story classroom block that was renovated. That's where I attended school. And that school at the time that I completed in two, 1995 was in very bad state. President Kufo, through his effort and his NGO, was able to renovate that school for the people of Abosoka. The records are there, unless you don't know. Okay. All right, that, that, that's a fair point. Before I move on to the next issue, uh, which will be unemployment, because we spoke to some of your constituents and they identified these areas that I've mentioned, uh, the roads, sanitation, schools, and then um, the last point will be unemployment. But before we go on, I just want the two of you to uh, speak to your constituents. Give them a reason. Tell them why either of you should be voted for. I'll start with you, Alaji. Well, I think the good people of Abekuma Central. I, Alaji Halidu Haruna, is seeking for your mandate to lead you to be able to assist the constituent to unearth the potentials in you, to build and sustain your life through critical support, activities, and service. I intend doing that by laying down five objectives. And one, I'm going to focus on education, and the emphasis is going to be on girl child. Two, I'm going to look at health and sanitation as a critical area of addressing your consent. Three, I'm going to empower the women and youth of our country, uh, the constituency. Four, I'm going to ensure that I promote peace and unity among us, having recognize that we, are, we come from different backgrounds with different diversities and beliefs. Five, I'm going to ensure equity and fairness in my leadership role. And six, I'm going to provide assistance to the aged and disabled. And indeed, sports is going to be at the center of my objectives. One of the things that I will do, God willing, would be to identify those talented young men within the area. I was playing volleyball. I played volleyball with my contemporaries. Many of them, as I speak now, because of their sporting activities, have managed to get employment in the security services. One, as we speak now, is among the uh, security details of His Excellency, the President. Yeah. And he got the opportunity to do volleyball. And I'm sure yesterday when you came there, you saw the volleyball court. Mm -hmm. When they were constructing, I contributed 
in ensuring that because it's one area that we could be able to tap the talent okay. and allow them to be able to be uh, to be able to actually get employed. Okay. Now the strategy I will use will be simple. I will use lobbying, advocacy, and public awareness. Okay. These are the strategies that All I will right. use. Eben, your turn. People of Abilukuma Central Constituency, this is Ebenezer Gebet Nina Nati. You always call me Eben, the son of the soil, the true son of the soil. 2012, I came to you to give me the mandate to lead the people of Abilukuma Central Constituency. You asked me to wait till 2016. This is a time for you to give me the mandate to change the face of Ablikma Central Constituency. Ablikma Central Constituency should not be the state in which we are now. We need to move forward. And I'm looking at so many areas to make sure that we change the face of Ablikma Central Constituency. One of the things that I strongly believe can help us is about education. And I'm prepared to establish education endowment fund to help brilliant but needy students in the constituency to move forward. I'm looking at health, which is also a key issue in terms of development. Leaves, private hospitals, government hospitals, and possibly make sure we have our own clinic in the constituency to help us in our health delivery system. ICT is very important, and I believe that as we move on, ICT, we have to make sure that the, especially the youth in Ablokma Central constituency should have fair knowledge about ICT. And that's something I'm going to bring on board to help us. Infrastructure development. I'm prepared to liaise with government and also non-government organizations to provide infrastructure development for the people of Ablokma Central constituency. One thing that is so dear to my heart that, is that I want to help by my four years in office to put up a, th a modern, a modern Makaranta school in Ablokma Central constituency. When I talk about modern Makaranta schools, I believe strongly that my people in Ablokma Central, we have a strong three electoral areas. And let me say that, that the, third per the third electoral area is not so much dominated, but Sukura and Zongo is a intensely populated when it comes to the, uh, Islamic education. And I'm deciding that given the mandate I, to put up a modern Makaranta school. If I say modern Makaranta school is finished with ICT and also a library in addition. Okay. And also to liaise with private schools and government schools to abolish this extra classes that they attend on Saturdays and Sunday. So that our brothers and our sisters in Abluk Masenda schools who are Muslims will have access to go to the Makaranta as well. Okay. And also to conclude, I also okay. have a skills training for the youth in the constituency who in one way or the other who might not have the opportunity to be to go to school who have a straight a training on their own okay. and also at the end of my four years i want the people of sukura to have a market day okay and then Mizongo as well all right um ambitious ambitious plans from both of you but let me go for some messages before we tackle um unemployment and we've got just about six minutes to go Adnan Al Hassan uh, says he's found a new love. That's constituency watch. Good for you. But he comes back to say how I wish you would invite Mahama Yariga to uh, quiz him on what he has done for Boko Central. I'm sure he's done a lot for your constituency. Uh, Pepsi Coffee Rexford says please invite the member of parliament for Anglo constituency uh, to come on your program. I'll try and get them as well on the show. But now let's go for some messages that have been coming from constituents in your area. Emmanuel Ashite says, Nanaba, I have lived in Latabi, of course, all my life. And I can tell you that in the last eight years, no road has been constructed by the NDC. Edward Ansa um, Ashite says, I live in Latabi, of course, and I can tell you that the NPP guy has no idea what he's talking about. I know the roads um, Ali Du mentioned, and they are really under construction. Mensa um, Afweni says, that uh, Nanaba, you need to come to Ablikuma Central to know which of the gentlemen is telling the truth. I don't think the NPP gentleman has lived in our constituency at all. Michael Asembo says, Nanaba, please pay no attention to Alidu. He's telling you lies. I haven't seen a single construction of roads in this constituency. Interesting, both of you. <laughs> Uh, Tanko uh, Abenuada 
says, well, Nanaba, thank you for bringing the two gentlemen on your show. Actually, I've been monitoring them and I'm not sure who to vote for. Maybe if you can ask them what their plans are. Well, you just heard them. So maybe you should tell me if you have decided on which of them uh, to vote for. Abwajiti Amanka says that uh, I live in Kolebu and I keep a close eye on the two gentlemen. I think Ali Du has an upper hand over the NPP guy. Well, uh, Deziga uh, Amenko or Bing says that I think the NPP guy will win the election. I wish you would say, mention their names or, you know, use gentlemen. This guy is a bit, uh, anyway. Um, Daniel Kwabna Mensa Fosu says, um, I work in Abu Sokan as a spare pass dealer and I can tell you for a fact that I'm voting for the NPP. But I have to add that the NDC has done a lot of work in this constituency. Sami Eric says, I'm in love with Eric. Well, okay, Aaron, that's the first guy who was on the show, uh, the comedian. Akwasieja, um, well, thank you for the comment about my scarf tonight. Um, and then um, Quinta Perez says that, uh, Nanaba, I'm enjoying constituency watch today. The two gentlemen are very good. I'm not too sure uh, who their constituents will vote for. Tough one for them. Well, if you listen to them very well. And then um, Adnan Alhassan says, Nanaba, I want you to read my messages. I think I have read your <laughs> message over there, so you must be happy. King Sengsley says that... Um, Ablekuma Central is an interesting constituency. They have so much, yet they complain they have nothing. They should come to other constituencies. Well, on that note, we'll talk about <laughs> unemployment. Um, I got some messages as well. Oh, it's important I read this one from Robert Coleman, uh, who works for Zoom Lion, yeah. who says that Nana Zoom Lion distributed free waste bins to a lot of people in that area, uh -huh. but some of them are using them to store maize and water. <laughs> I personally Where? led a team to distribute uh -huh. over 15,000 bins in 2010. The report from AMA indicating what we did is available for the NPP candidate to check. I will give him a copy on Monday if he wishes. I but let know, me I assure wish, you, I wish the people in the sub-metro that we will be distributing <laughs> more in July. So I would you see. give me a copy. Now, now, you and see. you should tell me where Somebody they are Somebody very they are much interested it. in the constituency must know this okay. because it's basic. Now, you talked about uh, unemployment. There's a message for you. Yes. Now, now, but it is the same Halidu who said that uh, women in their 30s who are not married are prostitutes. <laughs> oh, you see. Uh, Was it, it you? Is, it, is, it is part of the extension of the sect. And for me, I am a very well person. You never said person. that? Listen. I'm a very well cut. I've like never, never said. I'm not I've never. <laughs> I don't I've, think I'm a listen, prostitute. <laughs> listen, listen, <laughs> okay. I have never said so. Okay. But you see, in the midst of the confusion, people will not read. If you want to deceive the black man, just put it in writing. It was a write up Ouch. on my wow. Facebook. It was a write up wow. on my Facebook. This is first time. And well, indeed, it's, it's a very and it, it was, it was, it was even a it. question. There's a question mark behind whatever I okay, wrote. That's fine. It was in reaction to somebody describing His Excellency as a dumb child. Okay. I never voted for okay, a dumb fine. child. Okay. And I know, as a matter of fact, that he's been using it in the constituency. Oh, and I'm he? ready. I'm ready really? to play back his voice really? of what he said well, in respect I, I of that. I don't think you should be using now, that. Really? Listen, uh, uh, listen, really? I am, I'm a very cultured person, okay, fine. well trained. Okay. I have three girls who are my daughters. Adult, daughters three daughters. Okay. Three daughters. <laughs> I have three daughters. I, I wanted to be sure. I, three, I have three daughters. That's why I'm saying that my emphasis will be okay, at the nature. Now, yeah. issues of jobs. I, I, unfortunately, mm. I'm, I'm out of time. Oh. Unfortunately. Very oh, this, unfortunately. This would have been the best I know. area I'll to actually be able to tell I'll the people. I'll bring you back. Well, I'll I'm bring ready. You back. I'm ready. But this time I'll record in the constituency. <laughs> okay. So thank very you very beautiful. much, Ebenezer Gilbert. <laughs> Nina is running on the ticket of the NPP. If you're convinced, well, uh, Ablikumak, a central constituents, uh, that's him. And also, if you've been convinced by the submissions from Alhaji Ali Duharuna, who's running on the ticket of the NDC, well, there you go. So congratulations and all the best. Thank you. I hope to be yeah. calling uh, one of you honorable very soon. Very soon. All right. By God's grace. Yeah. By God, it will be you. Uh, you will be... <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. And thanks, Akos Yovi, for styling me tonight. Thanks to Sewa Amehe for the scarf and also to Max Closet for my outfit. We'll see you same time Monday. I almost said tomorrow. All right. A handshake over there for you. All right. We'll see you. Have a nice evening. My good brother. Don't worry.